Hi folks, today we're going to have a look at the space question from the 2017 National 5 Physics Paper 2. Only one question actually, question number 12. And it starts off saying, the star Wolf 359 is at a distance of 7.8 light years from Earth. A radio wave signal from Wolf 359 is detected by a radio telescope on Earth. A part 1, state the speed of the radio waves. Well, we need to know that radio waves are part of the electromagnetic spectrum, a range of waves which all travel at the speed of light. So 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. Part 2, it says calculate the distance in meters from Wolf 359 to Earth. Now, we know that it's 7.8 light years from Earth. So we can use the formula distance equals speed times time to work out the distance in meters. Because 7.8 light years is the distance that you would take or distance that you would travel if you were traveling at the speed of light for 7.8 years. So speed times time, the speed is the speed of light and the time is 7.8 years converted into seconds. So we need to do 7.8 multiplied by 365.25 days in a year times 24 hours in a day times 60 minutes in an hour times 60 seconds in a minute. And that gives us a distance of 7.4 times 10 to the power of 16 meters. Part B. Another telescope is used to observe the same star in the visible part of the spectrum. State a suitable detector of visible light that may be used in this telescope. So the detector is the thing that picks up the light signal and allows it to be processed. So it could be a piece of photographic film. It could be a photodiode like in a digital camera, for example. Or it could be just the retina of your eye. These are all suitable detectors of visible light. Do not just write the eye. The eye itself is not a detector. The detector is the retina, which is the cells at the back of the eye, which absorb the light rays. And finally, state whether the time taken for the visible light from the star to reach Earth is less than, equal to, or greater than the time taken for the radio waves from the star to reach Earth. Well, as we said earlier in the question, radio waves are part of the electromagnetic spectrum, which travel at the speed of light. So radio waves and visible light travel at the same speed, so they will take the same length of time to reach the Earth. And that, folks, is all the space questions from part two of the 2017 National 5 Physics paper. So I hope that was helpful, and I'll talk to you again sometime soon.